This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. As coronavirus cases grow here in Michigan, so did the concern that the virus spreads easily through pumping gas. Low gas prices right now might make it more appealing to fill up more often, but are pumps safe? Experts say that it's something to be aware of. On Friday, Governor Gretchen Whitmer said that people who are pumping gas are putting themselves and others at risk just by touching the nozzle. Medical experts say it is a risk, but not something people should be overly concerned about if they're careful. If someone before you blew their nose and sneezed into their hand and touched that object and then went about their business and you pumped right after and then touched your face, you could definitely pass the coronavirus on to yourself, said R. Dale Jackson, director of EMS at Sparrow Hospital. The virus is less likely to stay on surfaces when exposed to outside elements. If you do have to fill up, take some precautionary measures. Carry disinfectant wipes or disposable gloves in your car. Wipe down the nozzle and the keypad. If you don't have those, you can use napkins, plastic bags, or anything else in your car that could form a barrier that can easily be thrown out. Mount Pleasant police are investigating after a shooting near Central Michigan University's campus on Monday. Police say that the shooting happened around 6 p.m. on Monday at Campus Habitat Apartments on Edgewood Drive. Officers say an unidentified male victim was pronounced dead at the scene. A person of interest has been identified. CMU students were notified of the shooting by a phone alert. Police say that there's no risk to the public. An investigation into the shooting is ongoing. For the first time in 31 years, the Michigan Pride Festival has been canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic. Organizers of the event took to Facebook to make the announcement about the cancellation on Monday. The event was scheduled to take place on June 13th. Organizers say the uncertainty surrounding the coronavirus pandemic made them realize having such a large gathering would be dangerous to public health. Pride organizers are encouraging people to show their pride in other ways, such as flying a pride flag outside their homes. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan. It's everything that you need to know to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways that you can lend a hand to others in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan is everything that you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound for more information. From all of us here at Fox 47 News, know that we will continue to share up-to-date information regarding the coronavirus at fox47news.com forward slash coronavirus. We know that this is an unprecedented time and that you need to know what is happening to keep you and your family safe while staying connected to other news impacting the world. And we'll continue to share this on air on our website, and on all of our social media channels. Know that we are with you through all of this. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.